He was a he was a veteran of the Fourth Corporate War, you know. Okay, and where is your dad now? Dead. Yo, exactly. same. That <laughs> corporate war. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, maybe had he had trauma team coverage, he'd still be here, kid. Well, he was a veteran of the Fourth Corporate War. Uh, he himself is pretty decked out in cyberware. He has, uh, and, it, and it's all military grade. He's got his own uh, uh, left arm, which is a cyber arm with the hydraulics showing and everything. Uh, his his right eye is a cyber eye with kind of a um, socket on it that spins around so that his eye can rotate 45 degrees. He also has some internal stuff going on. But he's wearing South American father uh, or Central American father type shit. He's got a, he's got the wife beater on with the gray sweatpants and the and the yeah. black. And the Your black dad's a GI Joe. Boots. We get it. He, he's he's got the uh, he's got the gold chain around his neck with with the VS on it. I don't want to see you dead, I, kid. I've seen way too many fucking kids get killed on the streets. You're just like them. Alright, you get in the car, he kinda of holds his fist out, he goes, Hey, Papa! Uh, he, give, he gives him a fist bump. Uh, he goes, listen, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. Uh, to drive you off. If he comes back, any percentage metal, I'm going to kill you! But I... Let the guy have some fun. A little. Do a not little chrome fun. my child! As, as a tree. No! I'm not gonna chrome him. Gosh. No, I'm not. <laughs> you fucking say that. I've seen so many kids exactly like you just fucking die because they think they're impervious. And that's exactly where you're at, kid. You're going to end up exactly like your fucking dad. If you don't fucking nut up and shut up and learn, I scream. Can I get Rocky Road? Uh, Emil, at this point, by the way, is I think eleven years old. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, sure enough, you go there, you get some ice cream. There's an ice cream cake that's been uh, made for you already. Um, and you guys, uh, you guys spend uh, until close there, just kind of hanging out and talking. But by the time you guys get home. Uh, your mom is off for off at work. Uh, your mom is currently working overnight at the time. Um, and he comes back and he goes, "Oh, oh, God, oh no! I did not realize that your mom was working tonight." Um. Uh, Emil, Emil pauses his cartoons and says, "Is something better, Papa?" I gotta go run an errand. Why don't we? Why don't you come with me? You're just gonna wait in the cab. It'll be real quick. When we come back, we can watch uh, your favorite cartoon there until until you fall asleep. Sound fun? Yay! The cab pulls up. The driver's side, of course, is empty, but the doors open up. Uh, this one. Welcome in. Uh, and uh, your dad kind of looks at you. Come on, in the car, Brusito. Uh, you were heading out to Santa Domingo, which is not too far from here, but a notable drive. Pulls up to a warehouse. He goes, I will be out just a few minutes of Brusito, okay? Okay, no problem. Uh, and he just, he, pull, he uh, can I play games on your agent? I guarantee I won't end up exactly like my dad. And I wish I knew more, I wish I knew more Britney Spears songs on the top of my head. About 30, 40 minutes goes by. He's in the play game, And you hear the air go. Um, excuse me, little... I think I heard your dad call you Ombre Cito. Uh, si. I don't want to be a bother, but uh, the cat needs to leave in 10 minutes to make another appointment. Oh, um... Okay, I go get him. Because this world is fucking harsh, kid. And, uh, Emil steps out, steps out of the car, uh, and, wa and walks around the backside of it and walks up to the warehouse until he sees a uh, a lights on on the side on the side of the left side of the building uh, and goes and sees a door i assume goes to open it um, as you got to open it you hear four very distinct bags of gunshots oh 
Um, uh, this is not the first time he's heard gunshots. He's a child in Night City, of course. Uh, I mean, I assume your dad has sent you through like a gun safety course or something. Mm-hmm. Um, he'll uh, he run he runs towards the fire. He he opens he opens the door. Um, goes and looks for the neck and what's in here. What's going on? find a... the door you go in is a large locker room uh, and immediately you see a big table and uh, on top of that table there's just a bunch of little baggies of stuff, syringes of strange liquids, bottles of weird things. Uh, the kind of stuff your dad tells you not to go around. Mm-hmm. I don't he... know if he specifically says that but you get the vibe. Uh, he does not go around that. He, in fact, cl- uh, stays a wide berth around it. He, very wide-eyed, looks at it and just goes, Not for me. I understand you're going through it. We all are. But at the end of the day, we're all trying to survive. And the way you're going, you're not going to. Looking for the source of those. Uh, he actually... Uh, just kind of says in a little bit of a hush voice, uh, Papa, estas aquí? Which is, uh, Dad, are you there? You see uh, a few men, uh, all with different firearms running around. Where did he go? Which did he, three, uh, there are three men currently kind of looking around. Uh, they hear a sound from a nearby storage crate. Uh, uh, they just start firing on that storage crate. They seem so caught up in the attention, in the, in the situation that it doesn't seem to see the small boy walking around. As they just start firing, you see someone with a baseball bat running around the side after the gunshots end. Um, just, just, what you doing? He's just staying quiet and watching. Um, you, you, uh, as the man with the baseball bat makes it around, um, here, ah, fuck. Uh, as you hear a few more uh, contacts the bat, he also doesn't seem aware of you, but you see your dad get carried around. He's holding his your dad's gun and he just kind of tosses it away as he drags your father into the center of the room. A couple of guys holding the pistol to your father's head. And he, uh, your father's gun, by pure coincidence, happens to slide right by where you are. Said I ever planned on it. <sighs> For a second, he just kind of sits there and listens. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are uh, going back and forth between English and Spanish, but something about uh, my dad. Uh, they're just yelling at him, and he's he's like, yeah, he's trying to explain, but they're just not giving him time to talk as they just hit him every time he tries to speak. One of them uh, does, in fact, like bring that gun directly to his forehead and is is shouting something. At this point, the adrenaline getting in the way of being able to hear anything clearly. Uh, seeing the gun go to his father's forehead, uh, Emil looks for the gun that was slid towards him and picks it up. He he po- he points it in the direction of the man with the. Uh, with the gun t- to his father's head and just says, let him go, please, let him go. You know why I won't ever end up like my dad, Dancer? They all pause for a second. Who's the kid in here? Fuck. You lost, little man. I'm gonna see them. Let him go. Yeah. Uh, one of them is gonna start walking towards you. See? Like Dio hands in his pants, like, huh? Don't come any closer. Oh yeah. Uh, what you gonna do about it? I'll, I'll, I'll shoot you. I ain't no Nerf gun, kid. I. That thing will knock you right on your ass. Just hand it over. You wanna find out? Let him go. Uh, as he rushes me, Emil pulls the trigger. 
take the shot. And like I said, you take a gun safety course, <laughs> but unfortunately, you're not quite at target practice. Uh, and the shot fires wide as the person gets to you and just grabs you. No! And, uh, <laughs> the guy with the pistol uh, immediately says, Bring him over here. Bring him over here. Uh, like father, like and... son. Not your dad, right? It'd be weird if I said that and you weren't his dad. Word. Wait. Just try reverse that. You're. Whatever. I'm already over here. Drops him. They don't take the gun away from you, but they just kind of lift the gun by the barrel that you're still holding, I assume, with a death grip. Mm -hmm. Uh, And they uh, they aim it over your father's head. I'll tell you what, little kid. For being so brave, I'll let you make a little choice. You either pull that trigger and your dad dies, or you both do. It's not the best choice, but I think you're smart enough. Forgive me for that. This is a good time to talk about your boost addiction, man. This is a dark choice. Okay, okay. Uh, in- Il just kind of looks in this man's eyes and doesn't say anything. He's absolutely stunned. Do I need to start counting now? Not a target of the not plenty to say a moment ago. Alright. Hey. You know why I won't ever end up like my dad, Dancer? With, an, with a look of absolute terror, he, his head turns towards his father. It's okay, old cool, man. You have to do what you have to do. Take care of your mom. And he looks towards the guy again, the the goon. Uh, and as he gets to two, Emil, not looking at his father, pulls the trigger. I don't have kids. <laughs> well, Manaza, well, Manaza, well, Manaza, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just if you guys are to make your way not fall into the same fucking crap falls, kid. Talk to me, Dasha. Uh, when you guys are done, I will meet you at the uh, at the garage. Okay. I'm gonna go and get off comms because this is getting pretty heated. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave this call. You guys are bumming me out. <laughs> Discord <laughs> 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 